Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Solo Garden here, or also known as SG, and this is going to be my Wanda Vision review. And I have to say, honestly, um, by the end of this episode, which was amazing, by the way, I, I feel like it left me with more questions than actually answers. So we'll go ahead and just get into it. Um, the start, we have um, Captain Rambo that's out there with their sword crew. And they just brought the delivery of the vehicle that they had commissioned to hopefully be able to break through Wanda's hex barrier. And it looked really promising at first. So it wheeled it out like, okay, this thing looks like it could be rolling around on Mars or something. <laughs> it's definitely going to get through, right? No. They start pushing through. It's a struggle. And it ends up getting kicked out. She barely makes it out uh, before that happens. And half of it's already transformed. And just like you thought, it's not going to end there. Captain Rambo just looks at the crew and says, I can make it through. So she starts pushing through and you start seeing the struggle, uh, hearing compilations of her past and her mom and stuff. And then you can kind of see her pulling it together and pushing through. And right when she just has that moment of clarity and strength, you see her eye color change and she busts through they're like a luminescing blue and obviously as we found out later on that's basically just signifies that she just completed her transformation and got her powers so this is awesome this is something that's been getting hinted at and teased throughout the whole um season and now it finally happens and we actually get to see this to a to a degree when she finally meets up with um, Wanda and confronts her. And as Wanda kind of uses her magic on her and flings her in the air, she comes slamming down and kind of like a superhero extra strength power and just kind of embraces it like it's nothing. And you can kind of see the look on uh, Wanda's face where she's a little bit shocked at that. And... You know, Captain Rambo's a little shocked too because she's just realizing it herself. But just as you think that it's gonna, she's gonna get through to her because she's pretty much calling her out and explaining the pain that she had losing uh, someone close to her and that it's just really part of her and she just needs to learn to embrace it and stop fighting against it. Right when you think they're actually having a breakthrough, then uh, Angie comes along and just kind of like gets in the middle of all of it and just kind of shoes her away and that that part was a little disappointing but but somewhat predictable so then later on we're pushing through the episode and then you get the big reveal well let me back up a second here so one of the one is sitting in her living room wondering where her kids are and so agnes says well i don't know dear maybe they're in the basement you should go check there so she goes down there, and obviously it's not her basement anymore. It looks like something of a, uh, like a witch's den. And then you get the quick reveal of this, uh, what looks to be like a magic book, just emanating with power off of it, like a purple glow. And then you have Angie comes down and basically just confronts her and lets her know what she's not the only witch in town. And then she introduces herself as Agatha Hartness. So all these theories that this is possibly Agatha Harkness that um, other YouTubers have been putting out it's completely true and we, we found out now without, without a shadow of a doubt that is her and then she just flashes that purple magic on Wanda and just gives us this montage of how she's been been manipulating everything behind the scenes this whole time so this this is the part that leaves me wondering or leaves me with more questions than I got answers you know, because we all kind of suspected this with just the little things that have happened throughout the, the episodes, which made you kind of wonder, like, well, how much of this is Wanda actually controlling? So then you get that reveal where her brother, Quicksilver, is there, which, by the way, is from the alternate universe of the X-Men, is there, and he's got that smoke in the back, that purple smoke showing that she's one manipulating him so then that makes me wonder okay now is is he actually real and she's just manipulating and controlling him 
or is he just a complete manifestation of her power as well? Are her children a manifestation of uh, Agatha Harkness's power? Uh, those are questions I need to get answered. And if you guys already know the answer to this, please by all means go ahead and just post it in the comments and let me know. That would be awesome if you start a discussion about this. Um, and with that being said, I'm, I'm really curious what these power levels are between the two of them, right? Because in the past, you have uh, very small fractions of this power being expressed by Wanda, where she would just manipulate one person at a time when she got next to them uh, and, and just implant these, these visions in their head. But now she's been able to expand this to an entire town, if you would. And another, another thing to take note on this is that it's constant. She's expressed this power by creating this bubble, this hex. And it's always there. It's always running. It's never being turned off. You know, I mean, Thanos, when he had the Infinity Stones, the, uh, the Reality Stone, um, for example... He expressed this uh, several times throughout the movies, but they were never for very long. And he was doing that with the Infinity Stone. So now you're actually seeing this with a single person, an entity, Wanda, expressing this through her own powers constantly. So that's just showing a whole other level of, of, of power upgrade that she's been able to enhance. And... With that being said, I, I'm still wondering exactly how much of this is Agatha Harkness and how much of it is Wanda. And hopefully we'll be able to see that in the next episode and see maybe we're going to get a giant witch battle. I mean, there's definitely going to be a confrontation because Wanda's already expressed any, anybody that gets in her way throughout this process, she's just really quick to attack them. And shut them down. So it's going to be very interesting to see the dynamic between these two witches. And who's going to prevail and who's not. So, I mean, just go ahead and if, if you like this um, content, please, by all means, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on this and uh, what your predictions are for the next episode. And some of the questions and um, confusions that you might have from this last episode. Just go ahead and post it in there and uh, we'll see you on the next review.